Welcome back to another watershed walk. We received so much great feedback on our winter tree identification videos, so we decided to add another video to the series. This week, we will be focusing on evergreen trees, also known as conifer or softwood trees, and how to identify them. The great thing about softwood trees is that they typically retain their leaves or needles into the winter, so they can easily be identified at any time of the year. When looking to ID softwood trees, you should inspect the bark, the needles, and cones if they are present. Eastern White Cedar This tree is one of the most easily identifiable softwood trees. This tree looks distinctly different than other softwood trees, most notably by its leaves, which are flattened and scale-like in appearance. You may also notice this tree has a very pleasant smell. Its bark forms vertical strips and its cones are small, upright, and ovoid in shape. Cedar is a valuable food source for white-tailed deer in the winter, and deer will often flock to areas with abundant cedar during the colder months. Red Spruce Spruce trees can be some of the most difficult to identify, even for seasoned tree identifiers. We have multiple species of spruce in our watershed, but we are going to focus on red spruce. A key identifying feature for red spruce is that each needle is found on a raised woody peg on the twig, called a sterigma. This can be very difficult to see, so you may have to get up close to the twig to notice it. You may also notice tiny hairs present along the twig, which can also be seen up close. Sometimes red spruce can be very hard to identify as it looks similar to black spruce. Additionally, red and black spruce can hybridize and create a tree that exhibits characteristics of both red and black. Balsam fir. Did you know the balsam fir tree is the provincial tree of New Brunswick? This tree is widespread across the province and the majority of Canada. You might know this tree as a Christmas tree, as it is the most common tree harvested and put up in houses during the Christmas season. This tree has a pleasant smell that is especially noticeable when you crush a few needles between your fingers. Balsam fir needles are dark green, fairly soft to the touch, and typically have lines of tiny white dots on their underside. The branches are oppositely arranged and needles are arranged on either side of the twig. Another tip to identify balsam fir is to look at the bark and check for the presence of resin blisters. Eastern White Pine Eastern White Pine is a fast-growing, long-lived tree that can be found across a variety of sites. White Pine has needles in bunches of five that are soft and flexible to the touch which differentiates it from red pine, which has sharp, rigid needles in bunches of two. Eastern white pine has large cones that you will often find scattered on the ground beneath the tree. Tamarack. Tamarack trees are the odd one out when it comes to softwood trees in our province. They are the only softwood deciduous tree in our region meaning that they drop their leaves in the fall, along with other hardwood species. You can identify this tree in the winter by looking at its twig, which will have small rounded bumps where the needles would normally grow from. You may also be able to find some small cones present along the twig. Thanks for tuning in to this week's Watershed Walk. A big thank you goes out to all of our partners that help make the work we do at the KWRC possible. 
Make sure to follow us on social media and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on all of our projects. We'll see you next time.